With chronic Lyme disease, those microbes have been in the body for a long time. Those microbes are able to persist. And the two big ones are biofilm, and we hear a lot about that. But the other one, the bigger one, that I think is a lot more important is intracellular, microbes inside cells, and how they persist is slow growth, so those cells keep working. When we see somebody who's really ill with chronic illness, what's happened is that relationship is broken down. The body is no longer able to contain those microbes. They gain the upper hand they make people sick. What I'm seeing is blasting away at the microbes, but not necessarily affecting that intracellular reservoir of slow growing or dormant microbes that are very resistant to antibiotics and a lot of other therapies. That's where the herbs are really important because antibiotics are really good for fast growing infections, acute infections. But here we're talking about slow growing microbes that have been present in the body for a long, long time. So you have to suppress that, but you can't do it with therapies that are toxic.